everyone that is us down on the table cam with the Artemis 2 the top coiler right so let's get into this straight away so here's the packaging for the Artemis 2 obviously I've cut the back out so I can just pull the box out Be handy if it was up the right way sorry about the state of the packaging I've had this for just over about a month now I want to say so we'll take the top off here and there is your Artemis. Let's just take that out. I'll look at that in just a second. You get your spare glass. And you get your peripherals down here as well for the Artemis also. So you get your warranty card, you get your extra steel cables for the, the wicking. You get a squonk pin in there as well. You get a little peak insulator. And you get an extra, an extra nut for the uh, grub screw for the deck there as well, uh, and you get a couple of little spongy bits in there also. I think that might be too. I'm actually too sure. I've I've had a look at these a few times, and I'm not actually too sure. I think it might be just there to, for impact. I'm not too sure, but you guys can be the judge of what they're for. Um, I haven't looked into what they're for at all, unfortunately. You do get the coily tool as well. This is where they recommend you cut your coils at the eight, is that eight millimeter? Yeah, eight millimeters there for the deck. It does come in quite handy. It's quite small, quite portable uh, for that. It does come with some stainless steel coils in there as well, um, which I have had in the deck since I've got it. I've removed them just so I can show you guys this unusual deck. Um, so let's get to obviously why we're here. So here is the Artemis 2. And I've got obviously its dim dimensions and things like that for you as well. So uh, it's a 25 millimeter base, 51 mil millimeters tall. I don't know if that's including the drip tip or not. Stainless steel and the capacity of the tank itself is 5.5. Now that could differ considering obviously it's got the cables in there as well, which take up capacity or if that's including them, I wasn't able to find that out. So on the bottom, obviously, it's got the Artemis. don't know if you guys can see that. Artemis by, um, in, uh, in cooperation with Tony Vapes, uh, manufactured by Thunderhead Creations, and that, I'm guessing, is my serial number down there. You don't vape in the bin in your CE mark. You've got your... Allen key or grub screw up there on the top. So you can remove this, put your squonk pin in there and you can also squonk with this also, which is quite cool. Not a lot of RDTAs um, kind of accommodate that now, but this one does, which is fantastic. You've got your 810 drip tip with your Thunderhead Creations um, branding on there. Artemis. And then obviously two around here. Sorry, I've, I've literally just washed this and it's completely soaking wet. <laughs> You've got your adjustable AFC here on the side. So what you do is you just grab the barrel and you twist it. And whatever you do on one side will mirror on the other side there as well, but on the opposite. So if it's coming from this side, it's coming from this side. So it's like a mirrored image. Uh, right, so let's get the, obviously you've got your 810, so any of your 810 drip tips will work perfectly fine in this. No problem whatsoever. I've changed a few of them over just to see how they look, how it performs, all that kind of stuff, all that goodness. So you've got your conical in here as well. There's where your airflow comes into the, and hits your coils. This little bit here, I will go into in detail what it's for in just a moment. The machining is actually very, very well done. I know it looks very, very bad where I am, uh, you guys, but I've been using this quite consistently. Um, and if there's any scratches on this that you spot scratches, they are definitely from me. I, I mean, I wear a ring. I've, you know, I've got a, a busy, busy lifestyle with the kids and things like that and work. So if you see any imperfections, they are definitely from me. Because when I got this out of the packaging, 
it was immaculate. So let's have a look at the deck here. So as you can see, it is a complete postless system. Uh, let me just grab my Allen key here. Now the good thing is, is obviously you've got your positive and your negative there as well. So your, your coils are basically going to be sitting this way and this way. That's where your juice intake goes for the liquid. So they've essentially eliminated the whole old school side fill system, which in, in my experiences, especially with like the, the V-God Pro 2, um, the Pyro, I think it was the Pyro. Um, it was just a pain in the ass to try and put the bottle in without it wanting to squirt out and go all over the tank and not in the tank. So actually having the juice fill system Basically, a straight down shot, you know, you put your, your liquid goes straight in there. It's fantastic. And that's where the cap comes into play. So the cap really only goes on one way. This essentially blocks up the juice port, makes it nice and tight, and obviously locks it in place at the same time as well. So good job for thinking of a locking system that also covers the juice port. That's fantastic. Now, as you can see, it's got the steel cables here. They are absolutely fine. I've uh, I've obviously washed these countless times before, changing after changing my wicks out, making sure that they last lots and lots of times, as long as I can possibly get them, I suppose. Now, the good thing is with this particular tank, um, and I think this is a genius idea, the fact that this one screw opens all of the four ports in the deck. So obviously you just pop your Allen key in there, now the first ones on the right here um, are the first ones to open. That's fine. That's absolutely no worries there whatsoever. If you just keep going and going, that's what the little white pieces were for, or extra plates, I was going to say. I think it's probably the best word to use. If you keep spinning and spinning, it's because my hands are soaking wet. The other ones at the other side also open up there as well. Um, it, it just means that when it comes to wicking, um, and comes to putting your coils in there as well. Like start with this one, start to tighten it down, um, and then work on the next one. Because when I first put this one together, I'm gonna be honest, I put the four, I put the four legs in all the holes, and as I started to turn, this one fell out, and then I realised that this one opens last, but closes first. So that's what I decided to do with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick wicking with this. So let's just stick it on my top side light and it's 21700 configuration. I've got my coil. So these are the, these coils are obviously blackened out at the moment, but it's the coils that it came with. They're still going very, very strong. They just need a little pulse and pinch wicked and pretty much good to go after that as well. So let's just grab some cotton, stick it there. So like I mentioned beforehand, put one in. Don't worry about the coils positioning, you can sort that out later. And all I'm going to do is this is starting to close over. Which is great, so that one's a little bit, it's still a little bit, they're obviously spring loaded. So it'll hold position just now while I grab the other one. Like so. Don't worry, again, don't worry about the positioning. I will adjust them in just a second. So all you do is you start to tighten it down. You feel the resistance in the key. Don't go any further. I think these are three millimeter in our diameter coils. I'm gonna get a coiling rod here. Let's use the 2.5 then now just to move it. Move it into place. Obviously your airflow is basically going to come to about here. So the best thing to do is try and leave. Say it's, actually there's a good reference about two and a half. Use the two and a half millimeter coiling rod and you can actually see that's where you would get your kind of perfect airflow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this back just a bit. Perfect. So let's see, so it's sitting at a point 0.1 at the moment, so let's just, oh, don't do that James, because your stuff will go all over the place and then you'll cry. Let's 
give them a quick burn. There we go. <sighs> Sorted. The only thing I did forget was liquid, so I will be right back. Two six. <sighs> Here we go, back. sorry about that guys, that was a quick second just to grab some liquid. Right, so when it comes to wicking this, it is probably the easiest thing out there. I mean, you're essentially wicking this like you would a dripper, because all the capillary action is obviously going to be happening from the bottom. Uh, what I would say to you though, um, this will sound a little bit strange, but because obviously the tank's empty just now, what we want to do is get... And what I've been doing personally is putting a little bit of liquid inside these before I put the cotton in. It just essentially prepares the, in my opinion, it prepares the cables a little bit. So I'm just filling them up just a little bit. I'm using some Guerrilla Warfare from Live Lounge Liquids. Go and have a look at their, their stuff, guys. They are fantastic liquids. Nice guys as well. Um, let's grab my cotton. I'm just off camera, I'm just teasing my cotton to place there like so. What pain in the ass this cotton is. I'm using Cotton Bacon V2. Not my usual God's cotton because I couldn't find, I couldn't get any from work. So I had to grab the next, next available thing. So... until it's nice and tight. Grab another bit. Here we go. Just realised I've been doing this off centre the entire time because I'm, I'm, an, I'm an idiot. But never mind. It is what it is. that. Let's grab my scissors quickly. And what I've been doing is I've been cutting it at the very first o-ring because uh, if you go too deep obviously then it ends up just being too packed in there. So what I do is I kind of aim it for there, give it a crimp. Same on the other side. I'm going to thin it out just a little bit as well because obviously I'm using um, a thicker liquid as well. So if I just grab my tweezers, I didn't realise this review was going to be going on this long. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, quick rake. I'm going to over rake it too much. That one could actually be done with a, a little side cut there as well, I think, just a little bit. It's kind of fanned out a little bit too much for my liking. Right, so there we go, nice and easy. So all I'm going to do is grab, a bit like the dam method, up, put the tails in, push it up, lift the tails in, and just follow in with the rest, like so. There we go. Up a little bit. Same on this side. I keep hitting the camera. Sorry, guys. I'm trying out a new kind of setup at the moment, and I keep hitting the camera because I'm left handed. There we go. I should really try and put the camera on the right because that would be absolutely helpful to my cause, obviously, being an Ed Flanders. Um, there we go, like so, all I'm doing is I'm just giving it, if you feel, one of my pieces of advice, stay still camera, one of my pieces of advice for you would be is if you feel like you're 
pushing down on this and it's just resisting and resisting. The best thing to do is just flick it back out again, another quick rake and maybe a slight trim and it should fit without any worries or issues. But there we are, that's pretty much the Artemis done in a nutshell. I just need to wick it up. A bit of juice on the coils. Like so. I know it looks like I'm going kind of ham here, but it's all right. Now it's sitting at a 0.11. Lovely. And pop the lid back on. We'll, we'll It'll help if I filled it up. I'll tell you what, I'll do that off camera. So, obviously, grab your bit with the, the nipple, if you like, or the stopper. Pop it into place. Drip tip on the top. And that is the Artemis 2 by Thunderhead Creations and Tony Vapes. Let's go back up the top and I'll give you my final thoughts. Any pros or cons that I found along the way. So let's go. That's us back up the top with the Artemis 2, sitting pretty on top of the Atocha Juma Green. It's, this has been a fantastic combo for me, because um, I'm getting plenty of liquid, coils are really good resistance, airflow is nice and smooth as well. Um, I don't really have any, like, my only kind of particular con, just to get the, let's get the con straight out of, out of this straight away. My only con for this is some people, not everyone, might find that this tank is too tall. That's it. Because I don't really see anything wrong with it. 25 millimeters is a, a decent size. You know, you're not going overboard or you're, you know, you're not making it too small. It's made of stainless steel. Um, the machining is completely solid. The engraving's done very, very nicely as well. It's not overly branded either, you know. It doesn't say Thunderhead, Artemis, Thunder... It's just kind of Artemis and then a two on the side. And it's got this lovely cage around here. I'm guessing it's meant to be like the number two as you kind of go around it. Um. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Like, I feel like um on a sub -ohm device, obviously, I have the airflow kind of all the way kind of halfway closed but it's super easy to turn it I mean because it's on that stopper you literally just turn it so easy just to turn it so put it about halfway the flavor is really good I think mainly, I think a lot of it goes down to how the honeycomb isn't just on the actual outside of the top cap. It's actually recessed in as well. And I think that has actually has a lot to do with the flavour. As it's not just here, it's actually been brought in and reducing the chamber down. So yeah, that's pretty much my only con for it. Um well subjective con for some people is they might feel that the tank is too tall. But overall, it's a really nice performer. The fact that it comes with a squonk pin, if you've got a squonker, your five mLs of liquid, as I said down, down below, I don't know if that's taken into account the steel cables or not. Plus, you know, some squonkers have eight mil bottles, 10 mil bottles, and you can get your custom bottles out there as well. It can actually go even higher in capacity. This would do you definitely all day um, in that particular respect. Probably fought into the following day. You would probably need to change your batteries first before you had to op uh, top up either the squonk bottle or the tank. So you would obviously be replenishing that reserve. The steel cables are wicking up very, very nicely as well. Um, I haven't had to go, for goodness sake, and had to try and rejig the cotton around or what have you. It works out very, very well in my opinion. What I would say... Um, is when you're wicking it, just take your time and just follow that first step that I did by putting a little bit of liquid on the steel cables to kind of prepare them for for the wicking process. Um, as you can see, I've got the liquid in my tank now and it works perfectly fine. It's keeping up and you know you know me guys, I've got it on a, a mech mod and it's performing absolutely beautifully. Um, and I've obviously changed the drip tip to kind of be a little bit more matchy-matchy. But, you know, you can... It's its own drip tip, obviously. It's a little kind of stockier than the standard 
I don't mind the branding too much on that because it's so subtle. You don't notice it until you're really looking for it. Um, it's comfortable, absolutely. And there you go, there's just another one just to kind of pull it off, green for green. Um, so yeah, so before obviously I finish the video, I just want to say a massive thank you to Thunderhead Creations. Uh, sending this to Mark over at Nature Vape, who then sent it over to me as well for the purposes of review. Um, thank you so much, Mark, for you know essentially investing in a small reviewer like myself and to Thunderhead Recreations as well um, for um, allowing them to do that. So thumbs up from me. Um, I'm going to leave all the usual links in the description below. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you like what I'm doing here today um, or any other content that I have on the channel so far. Feel free to hit the like, subscribe button. It helps me out a little bit. lets me know that I'm, what I'm doing is the right thing for you guys because that's what's the most important thing. Um, and I'm giving you decent, well, and hopefully decent content. Um, and I will see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.